Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 118. In this video tutorial, I'm going to give a tip. Uh, this tip is about DB2 INI DB command options with respect to recoverable and non recoverable databases. The scripts and the data files that I'm using for this video is available in DB2 LUW Academy dot blogspot.in uh, this slide talks about the problem scenario and the uh, tip the problem scenario is we want to uh, demonstrate how the db2 ini db command options work with respect to recoverable and non recoverable databases the initialization of the database db2 ini db command we will be using once we split the mirror and let's say we want to restore that that mirror then we have to after restoring we have to initialize the db now there are three ways which we can initialize the database so one is like a standby other is like a mirror and other one is like a snapshot the standby and the mirror option are pretty much the same uh, both uh, uh, applies like when i after splitting the mirror after i do the restore of the uh, you know the, the file system restore or the snapshot restore when i initialize the database if I initialize with either standby option or mirror option, okay, it applies to recoverable databases only. It will not be applicable to non-recoverable databases. See, the, the reason is very simple. Uh, the date, so what this init, init db command with standby or mirror option will do, <coughs> sorry, is that it will put the database in the roll forward pending state. So after that, so that you can additionally provide the logs and do the roll forward. So that's the functionality for that standby and mirror option. Now, obviously then the database should be a recoverable database for that to happen. So if you try to do this, this option standby and mirror uh, in the initialized DB with a non-recoverable database, obviously it's not going to follow. <clears throat> and the next thing to note uh, in that is uh, after you do the roll forward uh, of the database and you when you open up the database for the client uh, connections like when the end clients are connecting to the database there will be a change in the log chain id so that's also you should take care Th that is significant because you cannot after you open up the database and you know the log files are getting generated these log files you cannot go back and put it in the source system and try to roll forward that's not going to work okay so that's the significance of that now the third option is the snapshot option. The snapshot option applies to both recoverable and non-recoverable databases. And the, the, the key difference is it will not put the database in a roll forward pending state. It will directly open up the database after performing a crash recovery on the system. So, so after you do the snapshot restore or the, the OS level uh, restore file system snapshot restore, after you do that, when you initialize with the snapshot option, you will have to provide all the active log files that are there in that log directory. So it will be do performing with those log files, it will be performing the crash recovery. There will be no roll forward possible. After the crash recovery is complete, the databases will the database will be opened up for end client connections and it and there will be no change in the log chain ID. So that is one important uh, difference. Um, we can say that the initialization of the database with the snapshot option is something similar to a point in time restore so because you will be going back in in terms of point in time uh, to the place like to the time where you split the mirror right so let's say you you split the mirror at t1 but now you are in t2 so when you do the file system snapshot you are going you are switching all your containers log directories everything to point to the timestamp t1 right so something like you are going back in in time it's like a point in time restore but the the, the point in time being the, the 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 time at which the split mirror happened okay now you can additionally provide log files uh, within the active directory uh, and uh, perform the crash recovery it might recover additional transactions as well but then i cannot 100 percent suggest that because uh, there might be some unlogged non-logged transactions that could be creating some issues and and i don't know so the the usual approach is to place the same log files which you backed up and just do a point in time restore uh, which is the safer one okay now okay let's as usual let's uh, go to the examples so let me give you a demo okay wait sorry about that okay so as usual let's get into examples 
um, in the script file so i have created two databases one is mini db and another one is ini db so i have created because i don't want this it's going to take some time so i don't want the idle time here so i have already started the instance and i created a couple of databases so now what i am going to do here is the first test case so let's take a non-recoverable database which is the mini db so connect to the database create some tables run some transactions and uh, suspend the database okay right suspend so at this point of time there will be 3000 records so let's just quickly run that okay we, we can do that in one one go like that okay so connecting to the mini database creating a table uh, you know inserting some transactions into those tables and uh, we can see 3000 records has been inserted and i have uh, right suspended now this is the point of time i'm going to split the mirror so usually you you do split the mirror with kind of you know os level uh, flash copy commands or uh, wh whatever your storage system is like specific to that but uh, here i'm just you know splitting the mirror using the os copy files i mean uh, so for simplicity okay uh, okay so let's do that so uh, let's go to inst1 node 00, zero. Uh, okay so let's do one thing let's okay we created uh we did mini db right so mini db is the one we are looking for so mini db copy that put it into mirror copy paste it okay so once the mirror, mini db is done but for mini db we want to know what is the sql activity right like okay for that what you can do is you can open a new tab and just say db2 list db directory on slash home slash db2 inst1 um, so mini db is sql001 okay that's it so along with the uh, mini db i'm going to take sql001 copy that paste that and uh, also uh, the the sql db dir right so that is also i'm taking a copy pasting that okay so we have we have taken the mirror okay now once the mirror is done the the split mirror is done we can write resume and i'm running few more transactions and i'm doing connect reset so this is so at this point of time there are there is 7500 uh, records so we can check that out so another few transactions are running okay okay so 7500 connect reset okay so next what we are going to do okay then replace the files like you know uh take this mirror copy okay so put back put back the, the files right that's what we are going to do so copy that from the mirror mini db i'll delete that sql001 that also i'll delete it then i'm going to paste that okay then i take the mirror copy sql dbdir just copy those uh, files into this location so first delete it and then paste it you're done okay so we have we have performed this step so replace files now if i initialize it as mirror or standby it's not going to work right so because it's a non-recoverable database obviously these two options will not be allowed okay so we can see that it gives the error saying it's not a recoverable database so it's not going to work snapshot will work but when you do this snapshot what it is going to do is perform a crash recovery so it will go and have only 3000 records right it should it will not have 7500 records that's the idea okay so let's run the snapshot command and uh, I'll show you that you know it's not in a roll forward pending state so obviously it's not enabled so I cannot do roll forward then I'll connect and I'll do connect reset so you should be able to see 3000 records okay all in one shot so snapshot is it, it it's getting initialized okay roll forward pending is no and uh, uh, obviously I cannot do a roll forward and uh, connection is done and it gives me 3000 records it did not give me 7500 records that is the idea okay so this is this is the this is the this is the first test case okay which is for non-recoverable database now we can repeat the same thing with a uh, recoverable database so we have already created the recoverable database so i'm going to connect and i'm going to uh, configure it for rkvl logging 
and just take a backup you know after that and then connect and do the same same thing okay so it will be it will be having 3000 records at this point of time so i'm going to execute this in one go so i just do a terminate just for for the sake of clarity okay so connect to any db this is the this is the another database this is a recoverable database so we are we are enabling for roll forward recovery okay done done okay okay so it's going to take some time so 3000 records so after that we have to split the copy files mirror copy files so we'll go to mirror copy we'll delete all the existing things <coughs> out there okay then come back to node 00 uh, let's check yeah the suspend has uh, has been executed so we can take the copy file so any db uh, sql 002 and uh, sql dbdir all these three things we'll copy we'll put it in the mirror copy it's going to take some time done okay um after that we can resume and uh, this time again 7500 records we are additionally running few transactions and it's it's going to it's going to place everything at 7500 records we'll see that also okay it's running it's and after that i'm going to restore and do not delete the log files from active log directory that's what i'm trying to do here <clears throat> So then I initialize it as a snapshot. You'll see that it goes back to 3000 records. It will not do, it will not come, it will not recover 7500 because those log files are not there. Okay. See, we are, we are not deleting the log files when we do the file system restore, right? If we provide the additional log files, it might recover these transactions, but then you kind of don't know, right? What is happening in the database? Somebody might have disabled, uh, uh, like non logged uh, operations can be done. So we don't know. So we just don't want to do that. That's all. Okay. But hopefully your mileage will vary, but, but that's another topic, right? So, uh, okay. So connect reset and uh, 7,500 records. So, uh, all is uh, done. So now we can uh, replace the split mirror. So, which is like any DB SQL 002. I'll copy that. I'll go to node 00, any DB I'll delete and SQL 002 also I'll delete and I'll paste that, okay. Then go to mirror copy SQL DBDAR, just copy those uh, instance directories and delete the existing things and paste it. So all done, okay. Okay, what else? Uh, initialize it as snapshot. So initialize it as snapshot, I'll show you that, um, again, it will not be in roll forward pending state because it is only performing crash recovery and opening up the database immediately. So let's just uh, do that. Okay. So next reset 3000 records. It should come back with 3000 records. It should not come back with 7,500 records. That's the idea. Okay. Now, since this is a recoverable database, I can do standby and mirror option also, but then I, I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm doing the snapshot, uh, which means that it's going back to the point in time. So you can see that it's only recovering up to 3000 records because obviously the log files are not there. So if the log files are there, it might recover. But then again, that's a suggestion only. You uh, Like say, you know, after you take the file system snapshot, so many changes are happening in the database. So we really don't know whether there are some non-logged operations uh, activities have occurred. We don't want to that much take that risk. So but it works okay so i have tried it it works but in real time we don't know what kind of surprising things we will we will encounter so that's that's the idea of this tutorial so any db has three options standby mirror and snapshot snapshot is performing only crash recovery and it is applicable to both recoverable and non recoverable database whereas standby and mirror option is only applicable to recoverable databases that is the tip that I wanted to provide you in this video tutorial. Uh, hopefully this information was useful to you. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash tv 2 academy And mo most of the things you probably will know in, in for, maybe this, is, this was useful for beginners or something. Uh, anyways, uh, that's it in this video tutorial. See you in the next video tutorial. Until then, bye-bye.